Hey everyone, this is Bob the Cell Phone Professor coming to you from the Nerve Center at the Wirefly campus. And today I want to do a speed test of the new T-Mobile G2 cell phone, which works on T-Mobile's HSPA network. See the H right there? That indicates that right now I am connected to the HSPA network by T-Mobile. And I have been doing a lot of testing over the weekend and got some just outstanding numbers. Really, I was uh, completely wowed by the numbers this phone generated. However, it seems to not be quite so good around the office. So let's take a look at what we can get when connected to the HSPA network. Now, I like to go to CNET to do speed tests. There's a lot of different sites out there that allow you to do speed tests. But I'm going to go ahead. I've got CNET bookmarked. Call it up. And as you can see, the internet response is pretty snappy, although it's not as snappy as it could be when it's really zipping along at uh, full HSPA speeds. But it still says H, so we're still at HSPA. I'm going to call this up. Okay, this is the speed test at CNET, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, it's got this speedometer gauge that shows what the instantaneous speed is, and this gauge over here indicates how done the test is. So it's about 40% done right now. Now, a speed of 800 is pretty good in my experience on a cell phone, or, or even for an air card. Not fabulous, but pretty good but I was getting speeds much higher than that out in the northern Virginia suburbs of Washington, D.C. over the weekend. So after this test, I'm going to take it to a different location, run the test again, and see if I can get a, a higher result. As you can see, the test here generated 780 kilobits per second. That is not a bad result by any stretch of the imagination. Um, with a normal cell phone, with a normal air card, I would say that that is pretty good. But on the G2, I know it can do a lot better, so we're going to see what I get in a different location. Okay, now I am at my home, and uh, I get a very strong HSPA signal here on the T-Mobile G2. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to CNET, where I'm doing my testing. And things are going to be loading pretty quickly. Now I'm on CNET. Here is the speedometer. and we'll start the test. As you can see it's a heck of a lot faster here at my home than it was in the office and that is just absolutely outstanding. That's three megabits. Uh, you know that's a, to me that's a 4G signal so a very fine performance for the T-Mobile G2. Now we're going to take a quick look at a 3G phone. This is the Samsung Vibrant, which runs on T-Mobile's 3G network. As you can see here, it says 3G, and we're only getting one bar today, so the signal's a little down. Now the Vibrant is one of Samsung's Galaxy S series of cell phones. Every carrier has a Galaxy S. So let's see what we can get here for the speed test on the Vibrant. And it's kind of struggling off the line a little bit. As you might expect from only one bar, this is, as I said, a 3G phone, not a 4G phone. So we can expect the uh, T-Mobile G2 to wipe the floor with the Samsung Vibrant here. And that's certainly the way it's going. I've run the test a couple times today. This is a little slower than I've got for some of the other times I've run the test. There is, of course, many, many variables when you do a speed test like this. So it is hard to make a judgment on a cell phone by running just one or two or even a half a dozen tests. After you've run 10 or 20 tests, then you get a better idea. So the Vibrant is struggling along, maybe trying to climb up a little bit. If you were using this for its 3G speeds, you uh, might be a little disappointed at 430K, but, you know, that's not, uh, not the end of the world. Okay, it ended the test, 437K, climbing up a little bit. So that's the Samsung Vibrant on the T-Mobile 3G network. Finally, this is the Samsung Epic. This is another one of the uh, Galaxy S phones. 
from Samsung. This one is on the Sprint 4G network, and we are getting 4G here. You can see it says 4G. So I've called up my CNET speed meter, and I'm going to go ahead and do get the test going. We are obviously getting 4G connection here in the Wirefly building. And as you can see, the uh, Sprint Epic phone is getting speeds that were more or less comparable to the G2 phone when it was outside of our building where we have a questionable HSPA reception. Uh, no question that the G2 phone has given us really some excellent numbers and is a very strong performer. I enjoy having the keyboard and the screen is absolutely beautiful and sharp so I can definitely recommend the T-Mobile G2. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm glad you tuned in.